Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody is doing well out there today. Uh, today I thought we would take a look at another file management, well I guess in this case a document management system called Paper Merge. Can you believe that took me three takes? That's the kind of day I'm apparently having. That took three takes. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. Uh, if we take a look over here at their website, uh, we can see that it's an open source document management system for digital archives designed for scan. And I like how they've got this uh, highlighted here in green, designed for scanned documents. Um, so basically, if you take a look here, uh, there's actually a lot of great information on here as far as it's open source. It's got OCR, which is uh, character recognition, so that it should be able to uh, find words and letters and sentences, and it should be able to take your scanned document and make it uh, readable by the system, so you can search by things in a scanned document. Um, I haven't had a lot of chance or a lot of opportunity to test this, because uh, a lot of the documents I've tested this with, I didn't have a lot of text in them for some reason. So uh, definitely still testing that out a little bit. Um, but apparently it will also add uh, metadata to your, uh, to your files. Uh, you can add folders. It's a good modern design and a full uh, text search. Uh, find any document just by typing a few keywords. Uh, so if we scroll down, um, there's a demo video here you can take a look at. Uh, there's some automation stuff in here that I think is kind of neat. Uh, you can have multiple users. You can manage pages. Lots of really good stuff in here. Uh, the one thing I will say that I was surprised by uh, when I came over here to take a look at the pricing um, <clears throat> was that it's expensive. Um, it's uh, If you wanted to do a hosted version, that's where they take care of your hosting, you're going to pay a, a 60 euros a month or 600 euros a year, or you can self-host it for free. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. So... Uh, if we go over here to this other tab that I've got open and we take a look, uh, we've got a Linux server. We like those guys. They do a lot of really great work. Uh, this is their paper merge Docker image. So if we scroll down, uh, there's a lot of good information in here. I uh, like that it will work on a desktop or an ARM processor. So this should also work on Raspberry Pi devices. And then below that, we've got some stuff to take a look at here. Uh, this is actually the Docker Compose that we're going to use. Uh, so let's jump over to uh, Portainer. And uh, then we'll come in here to stacks. We'll create a new stack and we'll just go ahead and paste that in and uh, we'll give it a name. Now you may notice uh, what I pasted in there is different uh, than what we've got here. Uh, basically all I've done is I've taken the liberty uh, to change my PUID, PGID, time zone and volumes to match my server setup. Uh, in fact, what I wanna do here is a little bit different. I wanna change uh, those. I've already tested this once. I've already got files and stuff in there. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and uh, use this different folder here. And then you can also see that I moved it from port 8000 to 8005 um, because uh, Portainer relies on port 8000. Uh, so I changed it so it won't interfere. And then we've got restart unless stopped. Pretty standard. So let's go ahead and click on deploy the stack. Oops, that's right. A stack already exists with that name. So we'll rename it and we'll update, the, we'll deploy the stack. So just like that, we've got Paper Merge 2 here. Uh, you can see we already had one in here. That's why it gave us that error. Uh, so if we come into Paper Merge 2, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the logs. Uh, it looks like uh, it, it's doing some stuff here. Uh, so we'll give this a minute to do its thing. Um, and then uh, we should be able to come back and take a look at the dashboard. All right, so here is the dashboard. Uh, here you can see we're on my 10X server. Uh, we're on port 8005, and then it automatically forwarded uh, all those other stuff. Uh, so the username and, ad and password are both admin. And so you can click sign in. And just like that, we've installed, we're, we're in our system here. Now, the one thing I will say is that you can, uh, if you want to upload things, uh, you click the upload button here, and then you can go into your documents or of course, wherever, and scroll down. Uh, and let's grab this Amber Next Cloud right here. And uh, just like that, uh, it says that it's uh, it's done, so that's good. Now, there's a couple of things that I'd like to talk about here real quick. Uh, one is that I wish the page would just automatically reload uh, when uh, a file has uploaded, but for some reason it doesn't. You've actually got to re manually refresh the page, but then when you do that, uh, you can double click, and uh, there it is. So there is our document here. Uh, that it's thinking about. Now, uh, it hasn't done any of the OCR things uh, just yet. Let's see if it's going to recognize anything in here. Um, looks like it's thinking about it, maybe. Um, so maybe it's doing some OCR things in there. 
But yeah, so that's the file that we just uploaded. So it's working on it. So it's going to take a little while uh, for the OCR stuff to work. Um, but uh, that's how that works. Now, the one thing I will say here um, <clears throat> is that I wish that you could... Let me, let me open a, uh, a folder here. I think I'm going to do uh, documents. I'm just going to grab this. I would like to be able to just grab this. Uh, this Linux cheat sheet, for instance, it's PDF, and just open it up or, or drop it in there to upload. Uh, but they don't have that built in. Um, it just it doesn't it doesn't upload by doing drag and drop, and that kind of sucks. I wish it did. <clears throat> uh, the other thing, uh, of course, we wanted to upload multiple documents uh, all at once. We could do that. We could just grab uh, this. We'll do that. We'll click open. Um, so here you can see that the progress bar is going, um, and now it's complete. So if we refresh. Uh, there are the documents that we've uploaded. Um, I just kind of wish, again, that we could drag and drop versus having to manually go through the file uh, the, the file explorer version on Windows or whatever the case may be there. Um, so that's one little downside that I've got as far as that's concerned. Um, <clears throat> and then what else? We've got, uh, we can take a look at logs. Uh, so here, here you can see that it started uh, OCR for all these different documents. Um, automations, this one's kind of neat. Uh, you can create a new automation. If the name um, happens to match a certain thing, um, you can basically have it automatically categorize uh, different things. So it can scan the document, and if it finds the word, uh, you know, paycheck or, or whatever, uh, then it can automatically put it in the correct folder. That's the idea that I've got there. Uh, that is what it should do in my head anyway. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but that seems like that's kind of what the automations should do there. Um, so that's what that is. Uh, we can set up groups, uh, new group. Um, we'll just call it a test group. I don't know what groups are for. That's really strange. Maybe it says on their website. Um, but you can create new users if you wanted to do that. Uh, we'll say test. Oops. Like so. Oh, all right. So uh, let's do this. So at least it's got some security built into it. That's good. So we'll click continue. All right. Oh, there we go. So, gr yep. So groups are for people. Um, and then we've got, uh, you know, we can fill in more information about that user. Uh, we can say set them to super user or staff or active, whatever the case may be. So that's how users and groups work, apparently. Um, inbox, uh, nothing in there. And uh, documents again. That's... Um, basically all there is to it at this point, but kind of a cool little document management thing. I, oh, that's what I forgot. Uh, if you want to do something like this, um, nope, 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 nope. Uh, let's come down here. You cannot upload. I, uh, there we go. You can only upload PDF, TIFF, PNG, and JPEG files. Uh, the one thing I will say though, if we do that, if we click on upload, uh, let me come over here uh, to this and we'll come into my video assets. Right there's a JPEG file. Let's refresh. It says you can upload JPEG files, but um, that's not the image I uploaded. So uh, kind of take that with a grain of salt. So basically that's it guys. I just wanted to show uh, this kind of this document management system. Uh, again, this is paper merge. I just wanted to kind of give it a shout out uh, so that maybe you can follow this as it develops that sort of thing. So if you're interested in this kind of content, uh, I, I try to release videos three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, so definitely get subscribed if you're interested in learning more about Docker containers and that sort of thing. As per usual, all of this will be available in the uh, description down below. Uh, there are also a couple of other links uh, for coffee and Patreon if you want to support the channel that way. Uh, on Patreon, I've got four different levels at which you can subscribe. Uh, the 3 5 and $10 levels will give you early access to my content when it's available. And the 5 and $10 levels will also give you access to a patrons-only Discord server if you're interested in that. So uh, I think that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to say about Paper Merge. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.